This video is about a new feature in Moodle 2 whereby a course can be marked as finished or complete. It's not the same as activity completion, also new in Moodle 2, where an individual task can be checked off as complete, but the two are related. To set this up, first I need to go to Site Administration and then to click on the link called Advanced Features. This takes me to a new page with some settings and I'm going to scroll quite far down near the bottom until I come to something that says enable completion tracking and make sure that that is ticked or checked. I then need to go into the individual course into the administration there where in the settings I should see that completion tracking has been enabled and I ensure that it begins when a student enrolls into the course. Because I've enabled it site-wide then there is in the settings a new link called completion tracking and I'm going to click there and first of all I'm going to set it up so that a student can complete a course manually themselves. Here's where we decide the criteria for marking our course complete and whether we want all of them or any of them. Course prerequisites is something I'm going to look at in the second example so I'll leave that for now. In this example we want our student to manually mark the course complete and so I'm going to enable that particular option. A course can be marked complete manually also by other users, such as a teacher, all of them or any of them here, but I'm going to leave that. Alternatively, and we'll look at this in the second example, you can select certain tasks the students have to do and tick them, and then when they are completed, the course can be marked as finished. Again, another option is that you can decide that you want the course to be completed after a certain date, or after the student has been enrolled for a certain amount of time then the course is complete or you can specify that they need to have a particular grade or finally that once they have unenrolled from the course it's complete. Now we're going to save changes and see what we have to do next. I'm going to add a couple of blocks to the main course page. A course completion status block which will enable the teacher and the student to see their progress and I'm going to add a second block which is a self-completion block. This is the one that the student will click on in order to manually mark the course as complete. Now it won't let me do it because I'm the admin. So what we're going to do now is to log in as a student, John, and to click on the course and see what he sees and how he can manually mark his course as complete. At the moment, the status is not yet started. He hasn't done it. And if he clicks on the more details link, you can see there the screen that says you need to mark yourself complete and no you haven't done it. So if John now goes back into the course main page and if he clicks the complete course link in the self completion block I set up now he's given the option to confirm do you want to self complete and he clicks yes. Now if you go back to that block now you'll actually see that although he has self completed met the criteria it still says it's in progress. That's because you need the cron job to run for it to take or display or show if you like. Once that's been done, when John then goes back to his course and he looks at the block, the course completion status is complete and if he clicks on more details, there is his proof. Yes, he has done it. Now, what does the teacher see? If we now log in as a teacher and we click view the course report, you can see that for our particular student here, he's got ticks that he's self-completed and therefore the whole course is complete. If we had more students, we'd see more students there in the list. Let's look at another example now where students have to finish certain activities on the course before it can be marked as complete. Let's go to our second course, our online bungee jumping course and then look at the completion tracking settings for there. I want all of the criteria to count and I'm going to have a course prerequisite. The first course, Remote Gurning, the students have to have done that course before this one can be marked complete. That doesn't mean they can't access this course, they can, but it won't be marked complete unless they finish that previous course as well. I'm not interested in manual self-completion or even teachers marking the course complete manually so I'm scrolling down to activities completed and I'm going to tick a couple of 
activities which I want our students to have done in order for the course to be marked complete. I'm leaving out the dates and the grades and so on and now I'm going to save the changes. I've already set up the course completion status block and if John our student goes onto it he can see that the prerequisite finishing that first course is done so that has a yes but he still needs to do the homework and to read the page before it can be marked complete. Let's imagine now that John has done these tasks and as a teacher I click view course report in the status block and I can see that he has a tick for the course prerequisite for the activities and therefore the whole course has been ticked as marked complete. John himself, his status is complete and if we click on the more details link here's the proof that he has finished the course.